Hi everyone, so 24th of October, you know, that is the D-Day, the Doomsday as we call it because it's the big clash between India and Pakistan and it's always fun, it's always high energy whenever these two teams are meeting. So, I'm personally very excited because when uh, India and Pakistan play, which we don't play today, sadly, sadly, um, just in tournaments and in, in uh, you know, on ICC का कोई tournament होगा तो हमें नजर आएगा India Pakistan का match लेकिन इस match के लिए hype भी बहुत ज़्यादा है ticket sales भी बहुत ज़्यादा हैं expectations भी बहुत ज़्यादा हैं और banter जो चल रहा है मैं अभी देख रही हूँ the banter is extremely high uh, because India is essentially undefeated in 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 World Cups against Pakistan they've got a stellar record so I thought that Pakistan ka perspective to humne le liya hai. Kaafi, you know I got uh, Shoaib on board I got a few people on board and it was fun talking to them but it's always nice to hear from the other side of the border as well which is why I've got a very special guest with me Sohail Chandok joins us he's in Komeja kisi taruf ki zurut nahi hai because uh, you know he's been part uh, he's been part of the IPL we've seen him uh, present there he's been part of Kabaddi um, and he's a sports commentator, so heavily invested in that side. And uh, I thought that a presenter to presenter be perspective hona chahiye, just to get a feel of how things are right now on that side. So Suhail, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I know that uh, everybody's super excited. I want to ask you, how excited are you about this match? I am so excited. Thanks so much for having me, Izzy. It's uh, great to be here. Great to catch up with you, although it is uh, virtually. I only remember seeing you back in, in Dubai and in the UAE, but uh, nice to cross borders virtually as well and, and chat about it. But uh, look, the big game, 24th of October, Dil Tham Ke Betiye, because this is going to be a, a huge one. I think everyone in Pakistan and India, we're all holding our breath. I mean, we couldn't have asked for another epic encounter, right? We go through every year hoping we can see a bilateral series, but this is not So we have to wait for World Cups. And there is a chance, milte hai, you know, whether it's an ICC Champions Trophy, where, of course, Pakistan has the edge. But otherwise, in World Cups, where you guys are still searching for that mocha mocha to get that first win, uh, maybe this is the time, maybe not. Uh, it's Everyone's waiting. Everyone cannot wait. And, and I can't personally wait as well, because the two teams also, the caliber of cricketers we've got is terrific. Yeah, the caliber of cricket, uh, cricketers is terrific. But um, I mean, the mocha ki aapne baat ki ke mocha abhi tak jo hai Pakistan dhoond raha hai. Wo ek champions trophy ka final tha. The Pakistan is still kind of holding on to that <laughs> and you know using that whenever they get an opportunity. But that that was the champions trophy. This is obviously the World Cup, T20 World Cups mein. Chaya ab 2007 ko le le ya uske baad jitne bhi World Cups hoye le le. Um, you know, India has had the upper hand. So, I mean, I, I really want to know why. Like, I, I want to hear from your perspective. Um, what do you think? Is it is it just a matter of, uh, you know, India handling the pressure better? Wo pressure better khel, mein better khelte hain? Ya team better ho gai? Ya team to definitely humme dekha hai ki over the years, you know, in the last 10-15 years, India has become a really strong team. But, aapki kya thoughts hai ispe? You know, I think a few things. If you look back, I think, uh, you know, just you said that pressure. Pressure is a big game scenario, right? And I think these big games are I think the Indian players were used to playing these big game scenarios much more often. And, and therefore, when they get into a big game, ke andar, uh, wo, uh, you know, they, they go into it, so they feel at comfort and they feel at ease, which maybe the Pakistan players didn't have, right? I think the, the arrival of the IPL came before the PSL. Therefore, the big game pressure was there already. And I think when you've got a lot of the young guys in the team as well, also playing in the IPL where they're rubbing shoulders with the best in the business, they don't feel that added pressure when they come to a World Cup because, hey, we've already played against an AB de Villiers or a Andre Russell or a Chris Gale. So that additional pressure when you suddenly turn up to a big game isn't there. Now, with the PSL coming in and having broken uh, through the, the barriers as well, maybe this is a time where actually Pakistan players as well have that same opportunity, right? There's no fear. There's a complete, uh, you know, the inhibitions have gone as well. And this fearlessness hai, wo to was always there with Pakistan players. I don't think that was the problem, right? But the cons consistency matching with the fearlessness, that was missing. And maybe that's where now to find that element of consistency within the T20 format, wo to mil jayegi abhi because uh, it's been a while. PSL has been around. Now there's no excuse really for the Pakistan players not to perform in, in a big game like a World Cup. But I think the exposure to big games has a big role to play with how India has always approached uh, an India-Pakistan clash. You are saying that there is a difference between IPL and IPL, like mentally, uh, Bilkul. players. Absolutely. 
आई थिंक दैट्स अ ह्यूज वन जैसे जब मैंने आरसीबी के ड्रेसिंग रूम गए 2009 में एज अ प्लेयर यू नो जब मैं एंटर हो चुके थे तो यू नो वन साइड देयर वाज जैक कालेस वन साइड देयर वाज विराट कोहली माय कैप्टन एट दैट टाइम वाज अनिल कुंबले एंड आई जस्ट एंटर आई वाज प्लेइंग इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया जस्ट एंटर इन इंडिया एंड आई एम थिंकिंग व्हाट द हेल एम आई डूइंग हियर यू नो बट वेरी वेरी क्विकली यू हैव टू टेल योरसेल्फ चलो मैं तो बिलोंग करता हूं इधर तो वंस यू बिलोंग एंड वंस यू फील दैट सेंस ऑफ बिलोंगिंग then you yourself understand that you are expected to play at that caliber and these guys who've been now exposed to the IPL playing with the best in the business that sense of belonging comes much faster jaise abhi PSL players ke liye mil jayega ye ye feeling of belonging नहीं डेफिनेटली पी एस एल से भी यू नो आई गेट योर पॉइंट बहुत फर्क पड़ा है बट आई थिंक ओवरऑल भी जो है इंडियन क्रिकेट यू नो एज एज अ होल इट हैज रियली इवॉल्व बिकॉज इट्स नॉट जस्ट वन फॉर्मेट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू गो टू मच इन टू के यू नो टेस्ट में क्या करें या वन डेज में क्या करें बट एक ओवरऑल इम्प्रूवमेंट नजर आई है आपकी बेंच जो है वो इतनी स्ट्रॉन्ग हो गई है बेंच प्लेयर्स की मतलब के everybody is fighting for a spot you know like uh, abhi bhi if, if i look at your squad and I, you know i was trying to see ke kya combinations ban sakti hai to kafi combinations ban sakti hai because yeah. there is uh, so much variety and and everybody seems to be doing well abhi warm up match mein you must have followed uh, uh, you know yeah. ishan kishan did really well and uh, apparently unki first 11 mein jagah bhi nahi banti like in the sense because there yeah. is uh, wo, so ye this is such such a uh, you know good uh, news for indian cricket that they have so much competition yeah jaise log kehte hain ki problem of plenty hai to wo bilkul hai abhi india team management ke liye because as you said uh, you know virat kohli after the ipl uh, virat ne kaha ki ishan kishan will be picked as an opener lekin opener ke slot mein kl rahul hai uh, rohit sharma hai how do you replace kl and rohit in the form that they are in as well you know even in the warm up games both of them had got runs uh, kl is coming in in terrific for me at yeah, that 98 not out versus the chennai super kings in the ipl to come into this world cup he's carried that form forward so you're right you have a surya kumar yadav you have an ishan kishan you've got a hardik pandya who if he bowls if he doesn't bowl is a question would you play hardik if he's only a batter that's another question or would you play someone like a surya or someone else ahead of him so these are the combinations as you said india can develop combinations because they've got depth of squad they replace an aksar patel in the squad to bring in an extra pacer but even then you you look at that entire team and you can pick six more guys and you could field two indian 11s and they would be extremely competitive i would say they they both make the semi finals of a t20 world cup right and i think that's where you're right the the rich vein of depth in terms of indian cricket at the moment is unbelievable and that whether it's the ipl whether it's the amount of cricket they play through the year i think all of this is to be thankful for because uh, just the amount of quality cricket you play test cricket ho ya ODI cricket ho ya T20 cricket ho you know kahi na kahi they're playing some form or the other while one team is in England the other team is playing T20 cricket in Sri Lanka so you know that that's how the team is continuing to improve ki ek India A team jaisa hai wo India team ban gaye hain abhi acha ye bataye ki matlab obviously choices to bahut hain aapki team ki lekin aapko kya lagta hai or what is the news from the camp like which is going to be your eventual 11 against pakistan because uh, i was reading actually aaj vivias lakshman ne bhi apni team batayi thi ki this should be the yeah. 11 that should be out and usme interestingly enough he didn't have ravi chandran ashwin in his side he's got uh, rahul chahar chakravarti rahul chahar yeah uh, you know bumra and he's got pandya wagera and and surya kumar yadav at that number 4 spot lekin ashwin nahi tha i mean is 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 this the kind of team that we're looking at like what is the, what is the news coming in for me personally i, I think varun cv is is a definite shoe in uh, i think virat kohli really likes him because we've seen varun uh, you know fail in fitness tests before fir bhi uh, virat kept bringing him back into the team so i think varun chakravarti obviously has that x factor that virat's looking for the ability to to win a game for him with the ball the ability to bowl in any phase as well and i think that's something that ravi chandran ashwin gave ms dhoni earlier right you look at uh, ashwin even in the uh, whether it was the champions trophy or whether it's any other icc tournament ms dhoni would go to ashwin in this same form so i think virat has that confidence in a varun chakravarti so therefore i think varun ki spot is is sealed right rahul chahar versus ashwin is a great battle and i think that comes down to which team they play up against if you've got left handers in your squad i think they'll start to play ravi chandran ashwin a bit more if you've got right handers a bit more i think you'll see rahul chahar Uh, in operation a bit more taking the ball away from the right handers so i think that is going to be a, a bit of a a mixed bag and a combination will change based on the team that they're playing against uh, 
given that it's Pakistan, I'm actually with BBS. I, I think Rahul Chahir is a great bet. Uh, he's, he's quick through the air with his leggies as well. Uh, and I think someone like a Babar Azam would be a bit more comfortable using his feet against someone like Ravi Chandran Ashwin versus uh, someone like Rahul Chahir who doesn't give him as much time. He's a bit zippier through the air as well. I think that's a good point actually because uh, uh, in Pakistan, ka, especially Babar, if you see Babar, he's, sometimes he has sort of struggled against leg spin. Um, Correct. Uh, he's a very good batsman. Overall, he's got more strengths than weaknesses. But sometimes when there is a ball turn or a grip, there is a little problem there. But do you see the top order? Do you think it's like you know, Sharma, Rahul and, and then Kohli and... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just looking through the names, right? You've got Virat, I mean, you've got Rohit and KL, you've got Virat. Phir Surya Kumar Yadav, I think, has to play. I, I think he's just too gifted, too good, too in form at the moment not to play. I mean, there was a cloud of form when he run not make a run in the IPL. Mein toh sab log rahe the ki, you've got to drop Surya, you've got to drop Ishan Kishan. Koi or, uh, you know, Daldo team mein, Shreya Sahir ko Daldo team mein. But then suddenly the last two games, both Ishan and Surya played magical knocks. Um, I went to Abu Dhabi and I saw that match against Sunrisers and the way, uh, I think he made an 80 of 32 or something, uh, Surya. I've not seen such a magical innings in a while. So for me, Surya has to play. Uh, then you've got a Rishabh Pant, then you've got a uh, Ravi Jadeja, you've got a, a Hardik Pandya in the mix as well. I mean, it's so, so potent a lineup. That even if you replace one guy, you've got a replacement that is more than capable of creating the same carnage mm. on the field. So, uh, you know, I, I think the, the real question mark is going to come as to how they do the matchups. And I know Rohit Sharma, as a captain, is someone who's big on matchups. Virat Kohli is more a captain who's on field. In, so, instinct, this yeah. is where I think, yeah, instinct and gut feel. So, this is where I think the team combination could change. Okay, I, I mean, I, team aapke itni achi hai ke over the f- last few years, you know, you've been winning despite the fact that it's not been a, a stellar patch for someone like Kohli. Uh, and I mean, yeah. I'm talking about his personal space, his personal... Yeah. Um, Kya hai unki personal space is vakar? Because uh, Sohail, we've seen ke unhone do jaga aake announcements niye ke wo RCC bhi, RCB se bhi captaincy se ja rahe hain aur World Cup ke baad T20 ki bhi captaincy chhod rahe hain. I mean, ye isi liye hua hai kyunke unka apna form jo hai affect ho raha hai. I mean, uh, pichle, sa, across all formats humne dekha hai ke unka us tarah se performances nahi ho. I think one thing we have to keep in mind, jab aap Indian captain, ho, to the amount of pressure that comes with it is staggering. You have 1.2 billion people who uh, every day are jumping onto everything, whether you've walked out of your house, whether you've hugged your wife, uh, whoever, and being Anushka Sharma, it's even more limelight on both of them. Uh, ya to, uh, you know, whether you are, you are going out of the gym or what clothes you've worn, what, whether you've taken 10 balls to score 15 runs or whether you've taken 5 balls to score 10 runs. The spotlight is on you. Whether you've played spin in the nets, ya to apne pace bowling um, nets mein batting kiya aur fir, uh, spin se out ho ya. So, you know, they'll start to pull on that. So, I think when you've been under this cloud of pressure constantly, year after year, day after day, at some point, though, it catches up with you. And I think the big factor for Virat Kohli is the fact that India as a team, pichle char ya paanch saal mein, were the favourites to win everything. And they didn't go on to win the title, right? Where they, uh, Joby uh, you can blame uh, pressure, you can blame one match glitch, you can blame the rain, which delayed the match over two days versus New Zealand. Joby hai, India didn't go on to win an ICC trophy under Virat Kohli. And that pressure, I think, somewhere has got to him as well, right? I think you, you can't blame, blame him either. And Usi Sameme, I think he stopped enjoying that role, therefore, of Chalo, I've got a captain, I've got to score runs. Fir main run nahi bana raho, to, you know, how can I uh, then re- respond? to media pressure, to ye pressure, to wo pressure, to every press conference that comes up. So suddenly, maybe he wants to take the blow for just his batting and not take the blow for his batting, fill the team also. Then there's an added question about his personal life. So I think somewhere he wants to take a bit of pressure off himself. And I think, you know, fair to him. Yeah, he's done the job for long enough. Uh, obviously, he would love to leave with an ICC trophy under his belt and in his cabinet. But uh, I think that's the hope, right? Uh, Jesse Sachin Tendulkar ne. Uh, 2011 World Cup, mein kaha ki, I'm going to retire after this. And the players all got together to give him a send-off of a World Cup. 
maybe this is the opportunity where you know Virat's boys, uh, as he's built around himself, want to rally together to give him a World Cup. Yeah, but just from his, on his on his batting, though, I mean, he needs to. This World yeah. Cup, him se bhi runs chahi honge. I mean, he. What yeah. I'm trying to say is that if top order is very consistent, then out is very difficult. But if the top order is not going to be able to do it, then you will have to contribute to India at some point. Cool. And, yeah, absolutely. And already we have seen that you know, Owen Morgan has said in the press that you know, if, if uh, I run and score, kar hun, to, you know, I'll drop myself. So you know, these are things that captains are talking about. Virat Kohli now is not going to drop himself. And no one wants Virat Kohli to drop himself. Uh, and it's too early to say that at all. But Virat Kohli wants to be among the runs. And I think uh, a Virat Kohli amongst the runs for Team India in this Team India gives the guys coming in after him, a Rishabh Pant, a Surya and a Hardik, the ability to go big from ball one, which they can do. And I think that's the biggest difference with Virat Kohli scoring runs and Virat Kohli not scoring runs. That the next batters are on the pressure is less. So I think that's the, the big change. And suddenly you're looking at a total which is 150 can go to 185. When you've got yeah. Virat Kohli scoring a you know a 40 of 30. Uh, versus Virat Kohli who's, who's settling in and, and scores 10 of 13 and gets out. So I think that's going to be the big difference. And I'm sure, I'm sure he's come into this uh, wanting to score runs. The biggest question is going to be mindset-wise. I think even the IPL, he didn't have a big IPL uh, with RCB. RCB did have a good IPL as a team. But again, Virat went trophyless. Again, he wasn't really amongst the runs. So, there is definitely going to be a, a big judgment cloud on him. Uh, I think he's going to be feeling the pressure. Now, can he use that pressure or will he wilt under the pressure? That's going to be the, the biggest test. And I think uh, the test is unfortunately under the grandest spotlight. So, I think there's no escape. Sharzal Thakur ki koi jaga nahi banti. I mean, I know Hardik Pandya is playing, uh, but uh, he's not been bowling, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I so said this is the big question, right? Uh, if, if Hardik doesn't bowl, do you stick with Hardik Pandya, the batsman? Or like you said, uh, Shardul Thakur who's been brought into the squad in, in place of Aksar Patel. Unko khela sakte hai, kyunki, when you look at Shardul and his contributions, wo sirf ball se contribute karte hai. he is so good with the bat down the order. He is a guy who can give the ball a proper whack. He's got test immense mein confidence. Tha, test mein, test mein, against haan, England. Ke, exactly, against England, against Australia. Ji, uh, you know, down under. He was fabulous. And I think he's carrying that confidence. Abhi CSK ke saath, uh, IPL, you know, he's, he's come into an IPL, won the IPL. He was one of the heroes of that team. So he's carrying immense confidence. And that's something which also holds a lot. Even when you look at Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, who's a little out of sorts, you start to wonder whether sometimes Shadul will get picked in that squad. Even if you're playing Hardik, does Shadul get the nod ahead of someone like a Bhubi also? Right? Because Shadul mm-hmm. now has been bowling... In the death overs for CSK, he's been bowling with the new ball. He can also hit the ball big in the death overs yeah. as well with the bat, which Bhuvi doesn't give you. So, you know, these are really good questions for the team management. Uh, for both Ravi Shastri and Virat Kohli who are leaving after this, it's a, it's a huge test and it's not an enjoyable position sometimes. Uh, you know, uh, Indian perspectives on Nepal. What about the Pakistan uh, team? You know, I, you've obviously probably seen a little bit of them. They won one uh, yeah. match in the West Indies, khilaf, South Africa games. They won one match in the match in the you know, death polling, you know, it was not good. And, the, you know, they were, this one thing that they were talking about is the due factor, you know. Um, yeah. Everybody you hear from the camp and you, you get to hear from the players as well. And they were constantly rubbing uh, the ball, wiping the the, uh, the wetness of the ball off with, with the towel. I mean, yeah. that's going to be huge. So, I mean, I think that in Dubai, where this match is, the match hai, wahan pe bowling first is going to be a, a big thing. Yeah, potentially. I think it'll, get, it'll just get easier as the night wears on, right? Batting gets easier. But to me, this Pakistan team is, is, is super exciting. I, I've got to say, that's why I'm looking forward to this match. Because... Suddenly, you look at the last jo pichle, uh, 12 mahine the, someone like a Mohammad Rizwan. I mean, I think he's actually one of the best players going across the globe at the moment. Uh, arguably, the best keeper batsman uh, that is around in terms of impact. Sheer impact for a team. Uh, utmost confidence. I think someone like Mohammad Rizwan, uh, for me, it brings so much. Then you've got a Shahin Shah Afridi with the ball. Obviously, Babar Azam, for me, uh, you know, he's just brilliant to watch as well. But then, I think this time, Pakistan also has that nice blend of experience and youth, right? You've still got a Hafiz in the mix who's been around long enough, who understands how to blend uh, the youngsters into the team as well. Then you've got 
uh, youngsters like an Asif Ali and a, and a uh, Kushtil as well. So suddenly there's a you know there's, a, there's that exuberance of youth. But in the middle, the you know experience bhi hai, it looks like it could be a calmer Pakistan team, and it could give a lot of Pakistani supporters, a lot of guys like you as well, a few less butterflies in the stomach constantly. You know, and I think it looks a bit more settled as a unit. Yeah, definitely. Um, and even you know, experience ki uh, aap baat kare ho, to Shoaib Malik is also back in the side. You know, he's somebody who's uh, you know been a part of the side since God knows when. He's been there <laughs> since, since a long time. But you know, UAE ki conditions and flatter yeah. wickets have always been sort of his forte, where he tends to uh, play spinners really well. And you know, us us tarah se ek ek balance uh, team mein jo hai wo um, aa jata hai. But then there's that Fakhar factor as well, you know. Fakhar Zaman, yeah, uh, uh, he's he's always a he's always an X factor. Wala he's a big game, because... correct? And he's a big game player, isn't he? World Cup player, ICC ICC tournament player. Fakhar just turns up. Yeah, I mean, like with him, if you look at his record, it's not the most consistent record, but uh, he's one thing with him. One thing is for sure that he. Nervous nahi hote. Unke, yeah. unke play mein, agar hote bhi hai, wo, I think first few, matlab, if he gets going, then he gets, yeah. uh, you know, gets you to a good position because India has a lot of players who can make that 15, 30 balls or, you know, 13, 15 balls. Yeah. Pakistan ke paas utne players nahi hai, agar dekha jai, yeah. who can hit uh, with, you know, con- with that uh, kind of a strike rate. Um, Fakhar yeah. is definitely one of them. So I think that, that that's, you know, like Fakhar is one player just people sort of bank kar rahe hai, ki ab usko one down try kiya hai. I mean, Hassan Ali bhi hai, Hassan Ali is there. Um, so I'm quite excited, you know, like when you look at all these matchups, you know, you, 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 Sha- a Shaheen versus uh, a Kohli or a Shaheen yeah. versus a Rohit Sharma. Ro- 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 yeah. you know, that that's going to be really exciting, but Rohit Sharma, ki kisa se out kiya jaye unko? Because wo to, like you know, everybody talks about uh, uh, Kohli and Kohli, but I actually feel like Rohit Sharma is 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 the most consistent performer for India over the last few years. I mean, he gives them those kind of starts. Yeah, I'll tell you. For me personally, I, I think Rohit's one of my favorite batsmen to watch. I think he's just so good on the eye. He seems like he's got more time than any batsman on the planet. And I think that's something which is, uh, you know, the biggest compliment to a batsman when he just seems like he's got time to rock back and play. When he, even when he plays a short-arm jab over mid-wicket, he plays it with this ease. You know, just like KL Rahul Kilte. KL Rahul also oozes class, oozes elegance. And when both of them are in the opener slot, in the opener slot, so that, I think, is the most potent combination in India. Uh, you know, I think when you go and look around each team in the World Cup, you look for opening combinations that can rip apart a bowling combination, but also bat through the tough phase of the power play. And this is one of the few teams where I think both KL and Rohit Sharma can drop anchor and can go at a strike rate of over 160, 180. And I think that is something that is so special. So I think that for me makes India one of the most powerful nations in terms of this World Cup is the start that their side can get just because you've got two men who are consistent and can just bludgeon the ball to all parts. And I think yeah, you're right. I mean, Rohit Sharma is also a blunt force that, you know, a match in six over or eight over, mein, he, can, he can literally take it away from you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've seen him go on the front foot and pull balls. I mean, he, not many yeah. players can actually do that, but he can. Um, but, uh, you know, I saw actually a tweet thi, actually uh, by, by Kohli where he was saying that uh, people are asking me if I'm nervous for uh, Sunday and he wrote, <laughs> I mean, it was it was like a promotion, obviously, but I mean, ye, ye hai, ye, ye hota. I mean he is really he's also made this statement in, 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 in the press ke, I'm not really treating it like an India-Pakistan game. I'm treating it like another game. This is the approach. Hai, ye hota because mujhe ye thoda sa, it's a little hard for me to believe because it's like, no, come on, you know, it's India-Pakistan. So is this him trying to tell himself that this is just another game? I would like to hold it my, my tab up with a pen and say L I E S. You know, it's it's just uh, it's it's tough. I think it's tough. Yeah, I mean, look, you're right. I think it's him telling himself this because uh, as much and I, look, he would want to do that, right? Every single player who is coming into this match will want to tell themselves, "Arey, ye to koi bhi ek game ho sakte hai. But the truth is, this is not any other game. This is a game where everyone from the prime minister to the president to everyone on the road, to the guy who is cleaning a, a gutter, to a guy who is sitting in a bar, to a guy who is sitting in the car, 
to the watchman in your building to a security guard everyone is watching and everyone is going to have an opinion right so i think you can't avoid the fact that this is a different game this has a different pressure so jo bhi aap keh sakte hain aap bol do media ko aur aap apne aap ko bol dijiye par this isn't going to fly i think deep down everyone knows and i've spoken to players right i've spoken to a lot of players who played in big india pakistan games whether it was even lakshmi pati balaji who was a smiling assassin in that tour pakistan some time ago uh, with the last tour to pakistan in fact i think for india uh, or whether yeah. it's been anil kumble or anyone else that i've spoken to in the past i think the india pakistan game is special and i think you got to also enjoy that i think you know a lot of these players when you speak to someone like an anil bhai it got the best out of him right he would come into it with this mindset of chalo i you know i want to own the game and i think that's what these players have right ek side mein to pressure hai lekin dusri taraf pe this can be the game that makes you an overnight yeah. hero across hero. the entire nation yeah. lakshmi pati balaji case in point right usne uh, pakistan mein jo series khela tha from then on everyone across india knew lakshmi pati balaji for the beaming smile he had and even if he did nothing after that in his career everyone would have knew, known l balaji for the india versus pakistan to right irfan pathan also yeah, you yeah. know he blew up his career after india versus pakistan so i think this is the match also for many players is an opportunity think about a surya kumar yadav or a kl or a rishabh pant if a surya or an ishan kishan for instance gets an uh, gets an opportunity and they score big and win a match for india they will be remembered even if india doesn't do anything the rest of the world cup these guys will be remembered for eternity and in youngsters ki ek jo jo ek baat hoti hai which you know which is you can only associate with them uh, whether it's on on the indian side or the pakistan side is that fearless approach you know you, when you look at somebody like uh, ishan kishan the way he plays um, of course there is that that factor that you're playing against you know pakistan but what i'm trying to say is ke wo ek jo uh, you know you play without any abandon or without any wo ek hamesha ek youth ke sath aap associate karte ho so it, it's it'll be exciting to see that on both sides as well you know some new faces new yeah. players and uh, you know if you like you said if there's somebody like a, a new guy who's sort of playing against pakistan for the first time or vice yeah. versa that'll be the most exciting part Yeah I think that's why I think someone like Varun Chakravarty right I mean he's he's playing his first world cup uh, you know it's the first real big tournament for someone like him uh wo kya karenge hum hum dekhna chahiye kyunki uh, you know first game out you're playing Pakistan you know so do you go to your stock delivery and play it safe or do you back yourself right and sometimes when you back yourself too much you carry a false confidence ki chalo main dikhaunga is inko you know pehli ball se hi main marunga but that's also not the best attitude right because then you're taking focus away from the process and you know mahendra singh dhoni ye shabd jo uh, use karte hain process it is such an important word in the sport right it's an important word in any sport uh, you can't forget that the process is what gives you the results not the confidence and everything else jo hai wo help karte hain but you've got to still have the ability to focus on the process because that's what eventually will give you the ability to hit that ball over the ropes or the ability to land that ball where you want to land it so does the process go when your arm gets heavier with the pressure of all these people does the process get you know tougher when you're holding a bat and you suddenly you've got a shine cha afridi with the pakistan jersey and not someone from new zealand yes it does so how do you perform under that pressure i think the new guys are going to certainly feel the pinch of that some will wilt some will rise you spoke about dhoni um, and he's almost like the silent assassin right now in your side because yeah. he's not playing but still he's going to be making key decisions and you know we've seen so many times over the years in fact whenever he's been playing ki mujhe lagta hai ki kaptani bhi wohi kar rahe hain you know he's behind the stumps and he's helping virat out and he's he's trying to uh, uh, give his tips and everything i mean not many people realize how smart he is like just uh, yeah. his understanding of the game and the opposition you know like i think he really yeah. knows the pakistan side really well like that's the one thing that i felt uh, over the years ke pakistan ki side ko wo pehchante bahut achhi tarah hai ke you know ek kuch hota hai to wo ek input kitni zaruri hogi unki yeah i mean how is he because he seems like such a relaxed character how is he going to calm the nerves down in 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 the dressing room Yeah, I think MS Dhoni uh, for me is a special, special human being, right? Uh, actually, many uh, N Srinivas and Chennai Super Kings, the owner, he, with him, I had an interview with him, and he asked him, "Why did you pick this guy, Long Locks from Jharkhand, uh, Ranchi, to come and you know run the Chennai Super Kings franchise? He's not from Chennai, 
यू नो वॉट इज दैट एक्स फैक्टर और उन्होंने क्या कहा कि एम एस धोनी टू टीम ऑफ एब्सोल्यूट नो बडीज इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन एंड मेड दम बिलीव एंड गेव दम कॉन्फिडेंस और ये ही करते हैं एम एस धोनी अगर हम चेन्नई सुपर किंग्स का रिकॉर्ड देखे जाए तो आर अश्विन आर अश्विन वेन आई प्लेड विद रविचंद्र अश्विन वॉज एन ओपनिंग बैट्समैन राइट एम एस धोनी कन्वर्टेड आर अश्विन फ्रॉम अ बैट्समैन बैटिंग ऑलराउंडर to the star indian off spinner that he is of course ashwin also did it for himself but he gave him the belief gave him the confidence at csk made him rise very quickly shardul thakur ko same deepak chahar ko gave him that confidence made him an overnight sensation ravindra jadeja how he has learned under him suresh raina has built under ms dhoni in many ways as well so ms dhoni jo karte hain it's not just calming the nerves but it's also giving you a sense of belief and the one thing i remember doing an interview with with ms and and uh, you know csk together and ms said i i said you know why do you take game so deep right well, yeah. what is the thought process there right what is it and he said as much as you think the batsmen are under pressure right at that point understand that for a bowler his margin for error is only this much so for him the margin of error between a yorker and a good length delivery that i can hit over the top is only this much this so much. in my head if i am more confident than the bowler of hitting him out of the park when he errors then hey i am on top so i am very happy to take the game deeper because agar mera confidence unke zyada hai to i am on top of him at that point because i will execute my skill set better so maybe this Very is the rub off also. effect that will come exactly and maybe this is the rub off effect that will come on to the young guys in that team because what he'll say is don't be afraid to go deep because the bowlers will be even more afraid than you and i think that's something that a lot of people don't quite understand till they have the belief to be able to execute their skill sets at the depth i think like you made a very good point and i i really like his answer because ye ek aisi cheez hai jo har player mein nahi hoti you know you you correct jab aap aap ekdam se agar aap scoreboard ki taraf dekho and you realize that oh my god you know you need a 16 25 balls or something yeah. like that uh, you get really uh, sort of intimidated by that that wo but the fact that he has the key word here i feel is self belief you know the fact that he yeah. has that belief in himself कि मैं जितना भी डीप लेके जाऊंगा उसके बाद मुझे आई गेट माय अपॉर्चुनिटी टू दैट आई थिंक इट्स इट्स अ वेरी रेयर क्वालिटी यू डोंट सी दैट विद विद अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेयर्स यू सी प्लेयर्स गो यू नो शुरू में ही वो थोड़ा सा इतना डीप नहीं लेके जाएंगे बट uh, uh, उसके लिए आपको एबिलिटी भी चाहिए कॉन्फिडेंस भी चाहिए एंड दैट्स डेफिनेटली समथिंग फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान परस्पेक्टिव दैट आई एटलीस्ट हैव ऑब्जर्व ओवर द इयर्स के ये चीज उनकी थोड़ी सी लैकिंग रही है स्पेशली वाइल चेजिंग um i feel ke their best chance has always been agar wo shuruaat achhi karte hain to fir Correct. you know it it's it's easier for them but yeah. when they are playing catch up it becomes very very difficult for them uh they suddenly get under pressure you know they could you know you start seeing some the short selection becomes a little questionable yeah. and you know all those things happen so yeah uh, kai baar humne dekha ki pakistan ke collapses ho jate hain na like wickets fall in a bunch you're right i, I think that's something we've always seen I think the only guy, I, maybe of the last few years, maybe Imad Wasim, someone who's been able to take a game deep, uh, bat deep, uh, and really believe in 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 the ability to close out a match. But in Wahan, be I think there's a lot of times where, as you said, short selection has come into question. Yeah, that's a good example that you give because Imad is actually one of the guys who's considered to be more confident generally than yeah. uh, uh, some of the other guys as well. You know, everybody, har ek har. प्लेयर की अपनी पर्सनालिटी भी तो होती है ना एक यू टॉकिंग अबाउट पर्सनालिटी सम आर वेरी फ्लैम बॉयंट इमाद एज अ स्लाइटली मोर फ्लैम बॉयंट पर्सनालिटी एंड ही इज समबडी हु रियली बैक्स हिमसेल्फ एंड वेदर इट वर्क्स और नॉट इट डेफिनेटली ही इज पुल्ड पाकिस्तान आउट ऑफ सर्टेन सिचुएशंस इन फैक्ट यू नो द 2019 वर्ल्ड कप अफगानिस्तान के खिलाफ व्हेन ही वी वर वी वर लिटरली एट अ पॉइंट वेयर यू थॉट यू लूज चेजिंग बट इमाद केम इन एंड रेस्क्यूड पाकिस्तान सो दैट इज अ गुड एग्जांपल बट एनीवे सो हेल आई आई डोंट वांट टू रियली हम पूरा यहां पे इतना एनालिसिस हमने कर लिया है यहां बैठे बैठे मुझे ये बताए कि 24th को किसके टीवी फोड़ेंगे पाकिस्तान के फोड़ेंगे या फिर इंडिया के फोड़ेंगे किसके फोड़ेंगे You're putting me on the spot, yeah, Zainab. Uh, I, I still think big game, yeah, or is why I'm choosing India ko, uh, choose karunga, because I just think the caliber of that team in terms of playing big games, having played big games, ye jo ek quality hai, wo ban nahi sakte. Hai. You know, you can't manufacture it. Uh, ye, you know, factory se ek unlock setting nahi hai. Uh, ye jo under ka confidence jo hai, uh, those self belief jo hai, un, unme 
I think that is something that you can't carry. And you look down the list from a uh, Rohit Sharma, KL Rahul, Virat Kohli, Surya Kumar Yadav, Ishan Kishan has played IPL finals. Surya Kumar has played IPL finals. You look down that entire list. Ravi Chandran Ashwin has played the biggest games. Bhuvi has played the biggest games. Uh, Hardwick has played big games. You look everywhere and they're not scared of a big game. And that's the only reason I think I will tilt towards uh, India. Uh, also, of course, the, the record of uh, World Cups. Uh, Zainab, sorry, I don't remember the records of India versus Pakistan. I only remember me. the Champions Trophy final. That's the only <laughs> thing that I remember. I don't remember anything World Cups? What are World Cups? I don't know what World Cups are. I have no idea. But, uh, no, I mean, like, I'm just generally very, uh, like, I'm looking forward to yeah. the encounter. Um, and obviously, from, from our side, we will say that Pakistan will win a lot of time. They will win a lot of time. But um, it is really going to be about that confidence. You know, I, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you that that confidence will matter very much. And, uh, you know, from a Pakistan perspective, at least what I think, I will tell you that in the beginning of the 6 overs, you will know that the match is going to go on. That's why yeah. ja because Pakistan is like that. Either they are very switched on from the beginning yeah. and you'll see them going all guns blazing and then I can tell you that so hey you have something to worry about <laughs> yeah. otherwise otherwise they're not that team that will start badly then recover and it, it doesn't yeah. work like that in Pakistan it's either black or, or yeah. white you know it depends on which yeah. side of the bed they wake up on like that Champions Trophy final that we keep referring to correct wo ek opportunity yeah. mili, no ball ki se, and things changed so, uh, and that's the thing. You, you said, you know, that no ball ki moment. Ye, ye jo bade matches hote hai, ek moment jo hai na, us pe hinge hote hai. And I think you'll find a few of these key moments. And who wins those big moments is going to win the match. I think that's going to be the, the key. India has a habit of winning the big moments versus Pakistan. If Pakistan can turn that around, na, then to uh, ek mocha mil jayega udha. But thank you so much, Suhail. It was wonderful talking to you, wonderful chatting to you. You know, it's always uh, fun to get perspective from the other side as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I have a lot of like Indian friends and I've over the years obviously made uh, a lot of, uh, you know, Indian colleagues as well, worked with them. So it's yeah. great because it's not that when there's a you know, two countries sort of get together uh, to have a lot of fun. So, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's hope for the best. I hope that the best team wins. Z, absolutely. I think a, a real pleasure to be here with you as well. And, and hopefully, next time we'll do this non-virtually and in person. And, and we will cut the borders and, and be, uh, be together at some point and actually be able to do this over, over a nice cup of coffee, a, a nice cup of chai somewhere as well. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for having me. May the best team win. Let everyone around remember that it's just a game and just yeah. stay peaceful, stay happy for each other. And, and I think uh, let's remember that this is a sport and everyone's doing their best out there. That's all. Yeah, but thanks so much, Kavi. Asal me TV na torna shuru kar dena. Save your money. No. Save your money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not doing anything to my. I've got a plasma screen here. I'm not doing <laughs> anything <say>. to it. Mujhe bahut aziz hai apni apni screen par chaat. Thank you so much. <laughs>